All right, I'm getting ready to start a new project. It's uh, overgrown, but it's all dry. It's dying out. We're almost to leaf season. As you can see, this one's starting to turn yellow back here. And because we haven't had rain in two months, all the grass is shutting down and becoming dormant. If you are in the Tulsa area and you know of somebody that is in need, whether it's with a leaf cleanup or with a lawn service, or whatever it might be i will do my best to try to fit in as many people as i possibly can to help them out i've gone full time with doing this now so i need to stay busy you know it's healthy to stay busy i love working i enjoy working and i love to help people with what i do so if you can help me there that would be greatly appreciated other than that if you're not in the area and you do want to help out if you just give this channel a thumbs up on the video leave a comment or subscribe if you haven't it really goes a long ways to helping out and allowing me to continue doing these gift type services community donations charity whatever you want to call it i'm sorry if it offends you if i said i'm cutting this for free and i get funded through the videos that's how i continue to do this okay um all that said i will be going on the road probably in 2023 and I'll be traveling to try to get as many people as I possibly can nationwide. I have no idea where I'm going yet, but I'll figure out the details later. So, if that's something that uh, you'd like to be involved in, I'll leave that as an option down the road. Till then, I hope you enjoy this video. All right, I'm coming in and trimming these bushes. I'm taking a little off the top, just making it nice and even. And then all of a sudden, whoa, <laughs> man. I started seeing some stuff fly out of there. You gotta be careful, especially in the later half of the year. That stuff starts happening, it's probably a wasp nest. But, like the fool I am, I say, you know what? I'm gonna keep on continuing to cut this. I got a little bit to get and I'm just gonna get it. Is it worth the risk? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I'm not too worried either way. But uh, then I'm coming in and I'm gonna straighten up the front i'm not feeling safe on the other side you know it's way away from the the wasp but oh i went to move the camera and oh, i had a wasp issue on that bush i just sprayed them down i'm gonna give it a minute in case there's other nests and i'll check but i'm gonna go ahead and get this one while i'm waiting on that All these are cut down at the ground level now. Let's go ahead and trim it up. All right, so on this property, I'm coming in, trimming up all the bushes, mowing the grass. I noticed it was overgrown, and so I knocked on the door. There was no answer. So I knocked on the neighbor's door, see if I could find anything out about it, because it looked abandoned. Then I knocked at the neighbor's door across the street. No answer at either door. And then over to the property on the right, car pulls up. And it ended up being uh, the resident over there. And I talked to him. And he said, well, I think that house was foreclosed on. I haven't seen anybody coming and going for a while. And uh, so at that point, I just figured, whatever. It's abandoned. I'm going to come knock it out. Make some content for you guys that you'll enjoy. Clean it up for the neighbors. He said he's been seeing rats in his backyard. So I was like, well, I'll go ahead and clean that up. But just go ahead and take note. That uh, front window is wide open. I thought that was a little odd when I knocked on the door. But, you know, didn't think too much of it. People do weird stuff when they move out of houses. It's not beautiful, but it's better. Let's go ahead and finish this other one. That's a holly bush, by the way. This is a boxwood. All right, if you're in the lawn business and you want to start doing a little extra work, like trimming somebody's shrubs, doing some of that maintenance so that you can retain more clients or adding a little extra revenue, I would suggest to set up with at least two trimmers, but you can start with one. If you're starting with one, I used a uh, weed eater that accepts attachments. So it's got the power head and you can have a 
uh, string trimmer, you can have a metal blade edger, pull saw, hedge trimmers. That's what I'm using right now in the video. Uh, I also like a smaller set of handheld trimmers. I use gas on everything because I don't like messing with batteries or running out of some sort of fuel source in the middle of a job. So a battery running out would be a big negative for me because I'm looking to get a certain amount of work done in a day. And I'm not looking to have any excuses to have to stop. As far as it goes with battery operated equipment, I'd say it's not quite up to par with commercial grade stuff, but I have heard positive things when it comes to trimmers for shrubs. shrubs. So I would suggest a smaller set of gas powered hedge trimmers and then uh, one of these trimmer attachments like this where you have the extension is great. This particular one that I'm using has an articulating head. That means you can change the angle. That's a big plus. But I will say I like the one that doesn't change, change angle a little bit better because it actually, um, it, I think it just comes down to personal preference to be honest because I used one so long. So I don't want to say it's better than the other. If you get used to the trimmer attachment with the articulating head, you'll probably really see a lot of benefits to that because when it comes to trimming shrubs that are up high and rounding the top, they are very, very beneficial. Smoke, man, don't throw them everywhere. All right, at this point, we're going to use the blower, blow all the nonsense into the yard, the leaves, the trimmings from the bushes, all that stuff, so that we can get it onto the turf and we can actually use the mower to shred it up. That's called mulching. Of course, I use a side discharge mower, so it's not true mulching, but the concept's the same. I'm going to shred it up real fine until it falls down into the turf. Um, I don't like using a mulching kit on my mowers because I'm doing a lot of overgrowth stuff. Um, and before that, I didn't like doing it in my business because when you're delayed for rain or any other reason, your mower has to process a lot of material. So having an open side discharge was always the way for me to go. A uh, good upgrade from the open discharge would be to have a side chute, a chute blocker that you can open and close so that if you're going past an obstacle, you can actually close it, and once you pass it, you can open it back up. The benefit to having it wide open is, like I said, you can process a lot more, and it's gonna shoot it further out. If you have the factory chute now uh, that comes with it, it's gonna point it more towards the ground, and you're gonna get what's called wind rows. A wind row is where the grass is lined up in a straight line, next to where you mow. Everybody's seen it where there's windrows left from somebody mowing and it's these ugly yellow lines, just even straight lines all over the yard. So that is what causes that. If you have an open discharge side chute, it will shoot it all out and it'll spread it out. Now you'll still fight clumps and different things like that. And you might have to do a uh, second pass on the yard, you know, a double cut. That's what we call it. Stuff like that happens. Sometimes you do a triple or quadruple cut. It's unfortunate when it happens that way, but it does.
All right, so I get a ton of comments about not mowing in straight lines and why you're going in circles and stuff like that. I've been cutting lawns for 10 years now, professionally, and when I cut a lawn, there's a reason why I cut it a certain way. So one might be that I'm filming it. So for you guys, if I'm filming, maybe I want to cut a section of a yard, then move over to the next section, then move over to the next section. But that way you can see the whole thing without me having to move the camera about 300 times so that it looks exactly how I would cut it. Now in this particular case, I'm cutting it this way for a reason. So I'm going to do a pass. I'm shooting everything inward and away from the street. That way I don't have to clean up the street. Now once I'm far enough away from the street, I don't care if I blow grass towards the street because it's not going to make it to the street. And if it does, it's going to be fine particles. Now here, I've got it all shred up. So when you cut in a circle, the other benefit to that is that there's leaves and trimmings and stuff like that. It's going to shred it up finer and finer as you get to that circle. Now the problem is, once you get it all shred into that pile, it's a thick, nasty pile of grass. Luckily, this time of year, it's real dry. It's not that bad, other than all the dust. So the next comment somebody would leave me is, why aren't you wearing a mask? And the answer is, I'm an idiot, but I don't want to tell you that. You know, it's just more comfortable when you're out working in the heat to not have to wear something and feel suffocated. I was a smoker for many years, and uh, I don't smoke now. I, although, you know, I quit in 2018, and I actually started smoking last year when I had a video go viral. Uh, I finally quit again in January, and I feel really, really good about it. It's uh, something that was, you know, stressing me out last year, and so finally I got past it, and I'm glad I did. That's the way life goes, but having said that, I've got damage to my lungs already, so it, it's not comfortable to wear a mask. Say what? Did you want some help for a minute? I mean, I've got flip-flops. Your flip-flops? Yeah, my flippity-flops. You wanna see? Flippity-flops. Hmm, it's pretty toast. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me show you what I got going on. All right. How long do you got? Um, about 20 minutes. Okay, so you got 20 minutes. Yeah. I'm not going to have you edge because you're wearing flip-flops. I'm <laughs> not going to have you weedy because you're wearing flip-flops. Wait, does that mean leave me blowing? Does, or wait, do you I wanna, get to... You want to try the mower? I want to try the mower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, finally I could be on the mower of yours. All right, well... Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta do the backyard. Okay. Are you gonna show me the backyard? Well, let's go. Okay, let's go look. <laughs> I can tell you, the front yard looks beautiful. If you didn't know, this gorgeous lady's my wife. <laughs> Rachel, have you ever used a mower uh, while I've been in business? Have you started our long-term business? No. No? Mm -mm. Uh, what experience do you have on the standoff? None. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh wow. You, uh, oh how, my gosh. how do you feel about it? About getting on the stand on? Yeah, I'm back excited. here. And this craziness? Oh, about this? This is. It's dusty. Are you sure you want to do it? Yeah. Wait, am I doing the backyard? You'll get dirty, yeah. Have you gone through the yard? Frisbee! <laughs> Did you do it? Oh, nice. Another frisbee! Oh, That's a nice ball. Oh, is it broken? I don't know. Oh, it's torn up. I'll tell you what hey, to do with that hurts. right there. What? Well, now you gotta go get it from over there. <laughs> You can hit it with the mower. I'm not going to do that. I would hit it with the mower. You would hit that? That would tear your mower up. No, it wouldn't. Shoot it back there. Whoa, dude, this is all poke. Okay, this is all uh, poke bush. You see all the purple? It's poke bush? Yeah, poke bush. So uh, these berries. Does this make purple dye? Yeah, they're the, they're the ones that make purple dye. You can't eat them. Well, we can use it for dye. Look at those pretty flowers. Yeah, they're messy. But it's, look how crazy that is. I'm gonna have to take my head strings through that. And to think that purple dye was is considered a color of wealth. A royal and color? A royal color in another country. I don't think this grows over in uh, Europe. So uh, if you didn't know, they used to make purple dye out of sea snails. And it took about 12,000 sea snails to do like what, a one, little piece of trim? Yeah, to do one sheet. Well, I think it was trim on like a garment. Not crazy. Anyways. I think it was like a dress. Uh, all right, oh so. My God. <laughs> ew. Ew. You smell it? Uh, yeah, what is that death? That is something dead. Oof. Oof. Hope it's not a person? Yeah. Come on, Rachel, get out of town. It's probably, it's probably a cat or something. Look at all those nice chairs Oof. in here. Yeah, that's where they're going to stay, too. Yeah, no, I don't, I'm not saying. Oof. <laughs> 
I don't want that thing. Look at all those old bottles. What? Look at all those old bottles. And there's a weed eater in there. Rachel is a bottle fanatic. Uh, not anymore, not. Not anymore. <laughs> I don't want bottles. An old bourbon bottle. Yeah. That's cool. What's this one? Oh, that's really cool. Hey, huh. Interesting. Those stay right there. Yeah, I know. Alright, there's nobody in there? I think the house is foreclosed on. Uh, well, there might be somebody living in the house, but they're not supposed to be living in the house. Say hi. Are we going to get shot? That is a common theme that comes up in my head when I'm working on this property. Yeah, because look, all the windows are open. And my viewers love to tell me, you get shot if you do that around here. I know. I get shot if I do it around here, too. <laughs> but no, sorry, it's... If you are going to shoot somebody that is trying to clean up your property for free, that issue is with the person that's shooting you, not with the person doing the free work. <laughs> well, you want to start with this front section and then... Go from there. No, I don't know which way to like to go, but I'm just gonna start doing it. And if you say don't do that, then I won't do it. Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. Okay. Um, so the mower always discharges to the right side of you, right? Okay. Um, the wind happens to be blowing to the right side. <laughs> okay. Uh, and we don't want to get the stuff over here, which means when you're cutting, you're gonna be shooting it towards the driveway, and it's gonna be coming back and slamming in your face. You want a respirator? No, because I won't be here that long. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and what I want you to do is cut this section. Yeah. You'll have to come down and start down here. Swoop up, shoot it towards the driveway. Okay. And then, um, yeah. Okay. I'll give you a quick rundown on the mower. This is 36. Yeah, it's 36. I thought it was the 88. Oh, you think that little one's the 88? <laughs> no, that one's not the 88. That one's the 88. Yeah, that one, yeah. <laughs> But you can use this one. Mm -hmm. All right, so parking brake, when it's down, it's on. Okay. Then the mower starts up only when it's on parking brake. So go ahead and stand up there. Okay, this is your key to yep. start it. That starts your blades. Uh, forward. Wait, what backwards. starts my blades? This does. That does, okay. This is your deck height. Okay. And you're already down at the height I want you to cut at. Okay. So all you gotta do is start it up. Are you comfortable with driving it? We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's okay. Go ahead and fire it up. Right. And before you can move, you have to take the parking brake off. But I can I start it with the parking brake yeah, off. Yeah, once it starts starting, don't keep turning it on. Okay. <laughs> you start it and then... Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.
Well, how do you think he did? Pretty sloppy over there, but that's I all right. I got a weed eater. Like you said, I got a weed eater. Mm. This thing is super comfy. You know, the, you like it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool machine. Yeah. Uh, you'll get used to it after about a lawn or two. All right, Definitely come check like this out. There's only one noteworthy mistake. Everything else is like. For my just, first time. Yeah, was you it? get comfortable with it. <laughs> the only mistake you did make is when you were cutting this. Yeah. You were discharging towards the street. Luckily, oh. my trailer's there, so it's not much of a problem. But, yeah. you know, if there was cars driving by, yeah. then you would take a risk of stuff hitting the car. And then the other thing is any debris in the road can cause a hazard. But as you guys can see, my trailer. That's kind of what I was My trailer stopped. That I would block the trailer. That I, I was able to do it from the trailer. Yeah, just make it more of a pain to clean up. Oh, really? I'm what sorry. What a rookie. What? Nice. That's how I do leaf removal? It's uh, all by the leaves. Yeah, by, the leaves a pain to clean up, isn't it? Yeah, it is a big pain. Yeah, <laughs> then I have to walk back and forth with a blower, like pull over here, blow over there, blow. What do you think? Here. You got confidence to mow the back, or do you got time? I don't know what time it is. I don't know. This one's in the park. Is that a walking? It is. Three oh nine. I can do a strip. A strip? Yeah. Do you want me to do the perimeter cut, or you think you got it? No. Let me go open the gate. Gate's open, dog. My, the mower can't fit through that. What? I'll get it for you. All right, go ahead and kick on the blades. You're not going to hurt the house. It's brick, so you shoot all this towards that. Before you go through the gate, kill the blades, though. Okay. okay. Are you going to move that? Yeah. All right. Good part. All right, the only thing to uh, be real careful of, uh -huh. and don't even cut around the AC, okay? Okay. Because <laughs> if you hit the AC, uh -huh. I'm going to have to replace an AC. I won't hit it. I won't go near it. <laughs> AC units are expensive. Mm -hmm. Me not touchy the AC. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, so what I would generally do is you do a perimeter cut twice. Okay. And you shoot everything in inward. So that means this side's pointing towards the inside of the yard. So like a circle square. Yep, do a circle twice. Okay. And when you get to this, just go straight here and then back up into the yard. Don't even come down here by the AC, okay? Okay. Um, so you just do a circle twice around the whole yard. And then you can either start going back and forth or you can start shooting it outward. It depends on how the grass is throwing. But okay. since it's it's not too bad, you can just kind of go in straight lines back and forth. Does that make sense? Yeah. You think you got it? Yeah. Um, that water bottle? It The mower will eat it right up. I just run over it. Just run over that water bottle. Or you can pick it up. It's up to you. I like running over stuff personally. <laughs> well, if you stand a And then I pick it up afterwards. Come down. Sometimes. Huh? Will it like throw out and like hit me or anything? Or get anybody? Sure. Well, if you're standing right here by the deck. Okay. 
won't like go out there and like fly. it'll shred it out okay <laughs> now if you do see big sticks and stuff like that don't run over it tennis balls tennis balls are really fun to hit but don't run over them <laughs> okay. okay now the reason why you don't want to do that stuff is because you can hit it and it can fly and break out a window or something so be careful what you hit <laughs> certain things like a bottle it's just going to cut it in half okay i'm going to pick it up before she gets there calm down um you ready to go i'm ready to go Let's do okay this. so we're going to go ahead and film this section a little bit different and uh i'll follow you around okay <laughs> okay all right because you know you're not really proficient to, to no. film right yet so <laughs> yeah. i'll just uh you know actually you know what? let's you. ask you a question uh how do you feel about me being on the motor so far is it making you a nervous wreck do you like it is it oh, that's are you cool excited to... yeah i hope you can now she gets really proficient at it and she can go out and do a couple <laughs> yards of her own yeah. <laughs> yeah no i think it's cool My, my wife wanted me to save this little froggy from getting chopped up by the mower. Dude, he's trying to save your life. Stop. I'm going to move him over by the house. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, here I go. All right, go on, crazy. Camera's only catching over here to the bush, baby. Okay, there's a can. Alright, go over there. There's metal this side of that bush. Get all the way up by the fence. Come down over by the tree. Okay? Get over up by the fence? Yeah, get all this, everything on this side of the bush. And then I'm going to move the camera and you get everything on that side. Do I finish this? No, everything on this side of that bush and then everything on that side oh. of that bush because it can only see so much okay. we'll try this again i think she's got it yep. Great job. For real? Yeah. Oh, yay. <laughs> what do you think? 
Uh, I think it's pretty crazy that I just mowed that. <laughs> yeah. So it's not bad. She missed a few spots. But, but you I know, know, I mean, part of that is it's so oh, dusty. I did, didn't I? Yeah. yeah, just a little bit. Part of it's so dusty, you can't really see what's going on. But so that uh, is, you, that's the same thing for you because I, with sunglasses, I can't see. Yeah, spots. they just get dust I mean, all I can over see. them. I can see. <laughs> I'm just, I can't see. Oh, well, they get covered in dust. Um, and then, oh, buddy. You okay? I am, I'm okay. I'm okay. I go. I'm okay. I'm gonna go get our daughter. I'm gonna sneeze. I don't wanna sneeze on you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Hey, I love you too. That'll Thanks be fun. Yeah. yeah. Next this, time uh, this fall, you'll have to be able to get more familiar with it doing leaf cleanups. And yeah. then in the spring, maybe we can mow some lawns again. I definitely see why you said suggested the respirator, which I knew would happen because, like, I've learned that with leaf season, I always want to have on a mask and stuff in my ears. Yeah. Because if you don't, man, it have to, like, that. I've only been here, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. And holy moly. Yeah, you get dust boogers and clogs. Why aren't up. you wearing one? I've got one in the truck. I'm about to wear it. Okay, good. He said good I didn't wear one up front because <laughs> we've got so much wind up here. Yeah. Um, but I was still getting hammered. I should have. Right, yeah, I love you. I love you. Okay. We'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. It was fun yeah. seeing you. Me too, baby. I'll see you in a little bit. Love you, Angel. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Say bye to Rachel. Look at her wiggling while she walks. She's doing that for me. Quit looking. All right. I didn't want to say this in front of my wife but uh i just put two and two together so all the windows were open on the house when you know we stopped here right or when i when i went to knock on the door and and i thought it was odd the the windows were open and then i found out it was empty this isn't empty because it got foreclosed on um i was smelling a strong smell of death over there the windows are open there's flies in the house i peeked in when i was setting the camera up over here to catch my wife i didn't want to say it in front of her but uh i'm gonna mow this but i'm not gonna weed eat. i mean it's strong very very strong so i'm gonna put my respirator on i'll knock down the height but i'll be honest i'm just cutting this one and getting out of here i'm not a fan of uh death being around it smelling it the smell makes me uh what makes me very sick she's like you all right and i'm like i want to puke uh Especially with the thought of knowing oh, I'm in the middle of the job and I don't like leaving them half done. That's all right. I'm I'm okay with leaving this not weeded in the back. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm I'm gonna polish up the front because the smell's not up there. But uh, that's very unfortunate. You know, somebody lost a loved one. I don't know what it was, what was the cause, but that is definitely 100% um, death. So yeah. Um, Somebody knows about it. All the windows are open. And uh, they must know about it. I don't know about it. Ooh. All right, that's enough.
All right, so I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna do my best at, to uh, respect the person that lived here. I'm gonna clean up the front and make it look as awesome as I possibly can. Um, and edge it up, but I, I can't go in the backyard again. Uh, the smell's very, very stout. Um, I assume somebody knows because uh, the windows are all open and I assume they're airing out the house, but I will go ahead and notify authorities and just say hey i was at this property i was doing some mowing uh smelled some strong smell of death at the house you might just want to do a, a, a check and um, when i was 10 years old my grandmother passed away and um, they didn't find her for about a week and that's kind of how she was found is they did a property check um, I tore my mother up. Uh, I don't want to talk about that too much, but um, because I understand the situation, I'll, I'm going to do my best to be extremely um, extremely respectful of this. So, not what I expected today. Um, I'm cutting a lawn um, at what I assumed was an abandoned property just kind of taking care of a lawn in the neighborhood and um, I was in the backyard and I don't know if anybody knows all the windows are open so I, I assume there may have been a body in the in the house but it's a uh, very very stout smell so I just wanted to kind of give you an address and that way somebody could do a wellness check just in case um, uh, it's in Tulsa. Yeah. Uh, it's Kevin Hansen. And my phone number is... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the smell of death. I mean, the windows are open on the house, but... Uh, it's real strong in the back, so I don't know if it was recent or something. Alright, thank you. Bye. Okay, so I just called for a wellness check. I can even smell it in the front yard, man. So, I'm hoping nobody's in the house, but somebody will come and check it out. So, I'm going to do my, my part and clean up the front. And, uh, yeah. It is what it is, I guess.
right, so they're doing a wellness check right now. They're heading in the house. We'll see what happens from there. So, um, there is a, uh, someone is deceased in there. Um, so they asked me to hang out for a bit, but I, I don't think I'm going to be finished this one up, guys. I'm sorry, but, yeah, so. All right, so I'm going to fill out this witness statement real quick, and then I'm going to head out. I'm going to leave it messy, but they're going to have, you know, someone to, you get the point. Alright, so at this point, all I know is that the property is a crime scene. Um, yeah, I think that just happens anytime somebody dies. They could have just died from old age. I don't know. But uh, <clears throat> because it is a crime scene, I'm going to load up, head out. They've got my information if they need it. And uh, that's this one. Alright, so uh, that's that property. I'm going to leave it a mess, um, unfortunately. Um, like I said, it, it's a crime scene at this point. I wish I hadn't have uh, cut this lawn on one hand, and on the other hand, um, I'm glad I did. Who knows how long it would have been before that person was found. So uh, my heart goes out to the family and the uh, loved ones that are involved. Uh, that's, that's really all I can say. So I wish them the best. And. I don't know, death is just hard all around, isn't it? So. Um, I might take a moment to say a prayer for loved ones. And I'm not sure. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go home and, uh, I don't know, take a shower and just uh, get my mind off of it. <laughs> I, I don't handle I don't handle this kind of stuff very well anymore and um, 2016 I was on the highway going to work and um, I saw a guy that got hit by a car and that was my first time seeing death real close and it was it was hard on me uh, and I had to go to work that day and I it was just hard and that's when I realized that you know my my heart and my mind has is, is changed and I'm not that type of person that can, can handle that stuff. So, you know, for our soldiers and people that have to see stuff like that, our first responders, um, I got a lot of respect for you. Um, a lot of admiration, a lot of love, and appreciate what you do. So, um, thank you. I'm, I'm heading home now, gonna get cleaned up and um, we'll see if this ever sees the internet, I don't know. I don't know how to put it up and be respectful.